Okay. Right. Let's get going because I'm already a little bit late now because of all of this. Okay. Let's get back into it. So I had to play the other day just to get my long dark itch and scratch it good. And it felt real good. And it was worth it because I cooked myself some fish. So that's all good to go. And I'm pretty much good to go. My character's all pimped. I just went through a bunch of my bits, dropped anything I didn't need, I think, which was only really the papers and sewing kit, and I just cooked those fish. So that's all I've done since the last bit that you saw. The only downside is, is it's actually almost night time already. So I have a mission to go out and look, but it doesn't seem worth the time. Like, by the time I get out there, I may as well just sleep this off, which is a shame because it kind of wastes a lot of my resources. But what are you going to do, eh? Let's go for a kip and start the new day fresh see what happens. I mean, if anything, I should at least get my health bar back up. So if bad things do happen, I've got a decent uh, health bar. Yeah, I've got a decent health bar. And it's almost daytime, look at that. But of course my character's almost starving, because he always is. All I can think about is food. See? All right, let's place that down. Can we start this off? Hell no, we can't. Because we need some tandoori. Die if I don't bring something soon. Oh my goodness! He's such a hypochondriac. We need fuel. I don't have much fuel. The papers not count as fuel. I still haven't remembered exactly what constitutes fuel and what constitutes, you know. Ah, well, I've got food anyway. I don't need to cook anything up. So don't worry about it, mate. You can drop that stuff. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't fuss yourself about it. It's okay. Because we got this. Mm-mm. Fill up that belly. All the way to the top. Oh. Food is so punishing in this, in this game. It's ridiculous. Okay. Cured leather. I like it. It can be used for repairs. Let's see if there's anything I can use it on. Because I was only going to drop it on the ground. All my stuff is so tip-top though. But I want to use that cured leather up. Because I'm only going to drop it. Because it's just something else that weighs in my backpack. Okay. Right. Let's go. I don't know where we're going, we don't need vision. I thought I'd be able to find the door. I'm sure I can. I know the door is like right here. But fine, you win. Ah, oh, there was another flight of stairs. That's why. I thought I was here. I think there's a bit of a blizzard, that blizzard outside. Oh, yeah. Feels good. Nice and fresh. Feels like minus 16. Oh, dear. Better go back inside. <laughs> oh, blizzards. Blah, 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 blizzards. Feels bad, man. Well, there's not much I can do. What am I meant to do? Should I just pass the time? Let's save it. See if I can just see if the blizzard buggers off in an hour. I don't want to waste too much of the day. That's the reason why I'm starting nice and fresh. Still bloody going. So. There's a little bit of luck RNG in this game. That being the blizzard. I can a horse. And it's gone. Okay. We start our day fresh and hungry. Hungry to find herbs. So 
yeah, I didn't look any of this stuff up online because I figured that it would be more fun to watch me fail trying to find everything. So, here we go. First place I want to go to is actually Deadfall area to find some tree stumps. And then the old man's lynching or beard or whatever, I think that's said it was supposed to be up in the trees, so I'll just have to sort of pay attention to trees and look up and see if there's anything to grab out of them. So we want the mushrooms that grow off the tree stumps. The cattails are from basically frozen leek. Flawless is already backseat gaming and telling me where things are. I'll worry about it for the moment. I mean, at the moment, I'm just walking around and I'm exploring. So if I get desperate, then I'll let you know if I want to know where they are. But at the moment, it's just a lovely day. Just going for a walk. Only feels like minus five. That's fine. My character can take it. And it will probably get warmer the higher the sun rises. So, Deadfall area is where I should be right now, I'm pretty sure. But I can tell you that it doesn't look like there's many dead trees. So it's referring to something else being dead. Perhaps that house. That dead house. Whee. At least I haven't seen any wolves. Ah, oh, there we go. I, I need to stop doing that. The moment I, I was thought about whether I was going to say that or not. Every time I say, oh, at least I haven't been attacked by a wolf yet, and then boom, a wolf bloody is there. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my old time rack time gal. Don't make me use my gun. You asshole wolf! Bitch! <laughs> Motherfucker. I'd shoot you if I knew that it was going to hit. But I can't be confident. Fucking wolves. Take the pain away. What a lovely day I was having. Within the first few minutes I'm attacked by a wolf. Brilliant. Okay. This guy's probably just getting used to it now, isn't he? I oh, just got attacked by a wolf again. Oh, for How many are there? Huh. He stopped getting aggro after I walked away enough. <gasps> that looks like Tree Beard. From Lord of the Rings. How much of that did I need? Eight. Pretty sure these dogs aren't going to take too kindly to me tickling the old man's beard. Waskily wabbit. <laughs> okay, I just heard the dog. Oh god, you guys are such assholes. I tell you what, if you fucking come towards me, I am gonna fucking take all the meat out of you. So just understand that, okay? If you really want to make this personal and go for this, I'm gonna fucking destroy you. He's going for the rabbit. Okay. Alright, fair enough. I'll leave you to it. You go about your business. It's like World of Warcraft PvP. But I know you're here, you know I'm here, but we both want to get on with our quest and get some experience, so... I almost want to get out to the dog and pet it. <laughs> but I don't think I can get much closer than that.
It's Logan. It's Grubby's dog. <laughs> well, I assume that the way the game mechanics work is, say for example, it takes 30 seconds for the dog to eat that rabbit. So you've basically got 30 seconds to get out of that dog's area. And you should be safe. Well, good news is we found some old man's lynching. Bad news is we didn't find eight of it. As far as I know, we found six. So I'm going to need to find more of that. See? By exploring, I just came across it. Okay. It's starting to fill up a bit with water. Is that because I went uphill? Anyway. Rashi's mushrooms. Sounds like something out of Mario. Rose hip. Rosebud. Rosebud would be pretty good down this hill right now, wouldn't it? You could probably find a good hill for Rosebud. That's a reference that I don't think anyone will understand. Perhaps. Citizen Kane, M. Griff gets it. I don't think many of you were born when Citizen Kane uh, came out, unlike me. I remember watching that um, as a kid. When it first came out and I asked my parents, um, what does it mean? What does Rosebud mean? And they were like, we don't get it either. Why are you playing sad music? Is it looking bad for me right now? I don't really want to keep eating this freaking food, but I'll have to. Should shut him up. Have some coffee. Okay. I guess we're heading towards the frozen creek now. I've got sad music playing because I'm lonely or in this world. But who's playing the music? It means there's someone else there. Almost to the creek. Now, this is where you use the rosebud. Get the sled out. Get the sleigh. I'd find some mushrooms. Hey. So how many did I get from one bush? Just one? I assume I just got one. That's pretty good, though. Because that's what I wondered, you know. Like, even if all the animals died out, I think humans can survive on just, like, you know, tree bark and shit like that. I'm not 100% sure. It's not, a, not like I've tried it, but if you absolutely had to survive, I'm pretty sure you could just survive on algae and crap. 
you'd be skinny as fuck, but... This is the better way to go. Because apparently eating like fish and wolf meat only fills up like one quarter, one fifth of my stomach. Oh, there's some old man's beard. Tree beard. Oh, 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 oh. I could eat anything right now. It'd be easier if it stood still. It keeps going. <laughs> oh, fuck. He's coming towards me. <laughs> it's so fun, though. But it's so impossible. It just doesn't matter how well you aim it up. It's never going to hit it. You get like a one in a million shot. And I have done it once before, so it can be done. It's just... It's pretty much impossible. But it is fun. It's like a little cool mini game. Yes. Vent your frustration. I can feel your anger. I'm collecting stones for the fun rabbit minigame. It's starting to get dark already, no. It's just not particularly bright in this area. Because the sun is out as much as it should be. It's just some clouds. So we definitely got enough tree beards. We got six of those. So let's keep looking around. That's a... Oh, I was going to say that was a big stone. I could take out deers with that one. I guess we can take a bit more than we need. Could use it as practice and cook it up and see how it works. So I'm more familiar game-wise. Hey, no reply here. Thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome, welcome, fella. Thank you. The goal really is to find more of those cattails. That filing guy's back. Oh, there's a dog. And I still haven't finished up on my cattails. I don't think there's any more cattails up there. Which is a shame. Alright, I'm going to pelt it. 
feet. That's 8% wet. I wonder if running in the snow is what makes your clothes wet. Smiley face. Nah, still 8% wet. Is that what she said? Okay. There's another tower here. I don't know if this is the one I've been to or whether it's the other one. Some poor guy is just going to be walking around like me. And they get smacked by this stuff. Look at that fro! He's getting better. I just busted my ankle from frying. No, obviously I didn't, but that was a bit unfortunate. I think this guy just looks for excuses to say painkillers. I don't think I've ever had so many injuries in my life. I've had quite a few. He's not even that knackered. He just busted his ankle. Okay, we haven't been here before. So it's time to fill up and get too much heavy stuff and then probably take it back to the cabin. Just grab it all and go. Because I think we can uh, basically admit defeat to some degree. This stuff will come in handy. I'm pretty sure I got eight. Oh, you do. Oh, but it is. A deep, dark, terrible secret. Something's gotta go. I'm not getting rid of my stones. They're too good. Come on, parkour it. Oh! Oh. Well, there wasn't actually that much here, was there? Oh, well. So you can attach the rope to this. Is that worth it, though? This place sucks. I'd almost rather keep the rope and just put it somewhere else. In case that Jeremiah guy gives me a really tough mission. And then I'll take the rope with me to the next quest hub. Because you never know. Like, one of the light, later episodes might give you, like, Timberwolf Mountain or something. And if anyone's played this game, Timberwolf Mountain, you need loads of ropes and lots and lots of climbing. It's one of the harder <laughs> missions in the game. Challenges. This is how you also walk down cliffs, by the way. Sprains his ankle walking up a small snowy hill. But can walk down a cliff like that. No problem. This one looks like it's going to hurt, though. I might have to go at an angle. I've also noticed how I'm not moving towards the cabin, so this seems like a mistake. I'm going the other direction. I'm basically heading towards here, in like a dead area. S destroyed lookout. That's where I was, so it's not that. Again, that half stone would be really useful. We still got lots of daytime left. Glebosaur, what on earth are you doing, man? Oh, okay. Fair enough, Glebosaur. All the best. Just get a paper job. Get a paper round and trees. do that for a week. I need to eat soon. It's been five minutes since I last ate. I wonder if there's any food. This guy is like American as all hell. It's the true definition of America. We're in clear cut now. Apparently there was some resources. Although, to be fair, I can't really hold on to much more.
I haven't come across any tree stumps. So those mushrooms I'm not 100% sure on. Ah, I think I see. To the left. Or am I going crazy? I thought some of those spikes might be mushrooms sticking out. Yeah, they're not mushrooms. Well, I'm going to keep going in this wrong direction because I'm stubborn. Mushrooms are the only thing I haven't found yet. I need two more cattails, I think. in a tree. What's that going to do? Do me? Do something? What, what good does that do me? I can always make a campfire and just try to live out in the wilderness. Wilderness. Why is it called wilderness when you say wild? Why is it not wilderness? Here now. I'll probably be heading towards the dam soon. That's obviously the next place you've got to go is the dam. I mean really like the last place in this episode. This is probably the nicest place to be though out of all of them. So make the most out of this one because the other areas aren't so pleasant as this. I'll give him something to eat now. A little something to drink to cancel. Have the coffee. Bit of a pep up. And you can eat your damn fish. Look how much he's fed. Look how much that fed him up. Hmm. That stomach is full now. I think I am actually going to probably write a letter or something or. An some sort of feedback towards the developers of this game saying sort the food thing out because it's ridiculous. Gotta rest that wrist, or it could get worse. Well, I think I'm out of painkillers in a moment. I've gone through so many in this one journey. All right, we're good. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Fucking hell, man. There's something not right with this guy. So the mushrooms is the only thing I haven't worked out where to get those from.
tapeworm. More like tape worms. This guy's got like an army of tapeworms living inside of him. Tape Legion. It's like Heroes of Might and Magic or something like that. Your enemy has a throng of goblins. Has a horde of goblins. Has a legion of goblins. Oh, I thought you was going to do that. Can't quite do it. This is deja vu. I've definitely taken this trip before, but this was like many, many months ago when I used to play the game. There's nothing here, by the way. So I know this is pointless as well, what I'm doing, but I'm just skirting around. How's it going, mate? More painkillers? Oh no, that's not so bad. What happened to me then? Just tore some clothing. Yeah. I don't think much happened there. Mushrooms? I'm pretty sure chucking stones at wolves doesn't do anything. Just pisses them off. We're heading back to the dam, boys. Doing the noob strat that Flawless uses. Follow the walls. Like, we should basically be at the bloody place. Like, we've got to be up, like, here. So we're really not far away from it. I know that the map and the game can sometimes be a little bit... ...deceiving. I need anything right about now. Oh, my God. Perhaps if he ate his own stomach, then he wouldn't be hungry anymore. Yeah, I think this guy is, like, one of the deadly seven deadly sins, gluttony. got to be quite careful when going down this hill. Like, I'm always going at a somewhat angle. Filing guys back. Better to lay low till this ankle improves. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. I tried to guide you down gently, but you just want to fucking break this shit. Sometimes I think you're just doing this deliberately now. At least it's been a pleasant day's walk, though. We can all agree on that. I've had to use, like, eight painkillers for multiple sprains and injuries. I've been attacked by a wolf. I've failed killing the rabbit. Other than that, it's been pretty good. I can't tell if that's a body or just a bunch of rocks. I think it's just a bunch of rocks. Yeah. 
sprinting's off the menu. So we'll continue our leisurely walk towards the dam. Did you see the spin he got next time? That was some good spin. What's that? Watch this. Nothing. That hurts. I think this guy needed this. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's a little pussy, isn't he, really? He's chasing after his ex-wife. Treats him like shit. He's just basically a big baby. Constantly eats all the time. Like, he needed to be out in the wild to learn how to fucking grow up and be a man. This is a good thing for him. He needed this. There's a logging camp. At least we know we can sleep here. The only downside is I really don't have that much to eat. So he's going to lose some health from that. Perhaps we don't go to this dam. Perhaps this is good enough. I just need a place to rest up. Start a new day. A new day. All the days so far have gone so well for my character. So I will probably backseat game a little bit now. I'll get some backseat gaming. If Flawless is still here. Where are those reishi mushrooms? Because I haven't come across any of those on my journey. Which I thought maybe if I just walk around for long enough, I might just come across it. What have we here? Probably still not better than what you're wearing, but... Nah, you can't, you know, do better than what you've got. It's the best of the best of the best, so... Sewing kit for 100%. That's what we're talking about right there. I'm weak. You are weak. That sounded like, um... Excellent. It sounded like, oh, uh, what's it called? Getting over it. Ah! Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Okay, let's go for some kiap. Not sure why I feel so tired. Zero calories. Great, is it? Okay. Let's go for some sleep and hope I don't die. <laughs> now, is it organic? What are you talking about, Davis? What are you filing, guy? Keeps following me. There we go. Healthy as a clam. Start my day with a cup of coffee. At least that's what most people do. I don't. Don't like the taste of coffee. Quench some of that first. And a little bit of hunger. And we are good for another day. 
fresh and happy to go. The Bill Cosby sweaters. Hey, I found something that could be better. That's definitely better. It weighs quite a bit more, though. It's only better by a small amount, though. I'll use it, but I'm not so sure. I don't know, actually. I don't know if I can justify the double the weight for the tiny extra bits of stat. So, no, actually. Nothing's broken, Kai. Everything was broken at the start of the stream, but it's fine now. Everything's working beautifully. Now, the downside is, is I can't re freaking remember which way back to the dam. I should have actually memorized. I have no time for this. Oh, whippy. I'm finally awake long enough to catch one of your streams, so just wanted to say thanks. Thanks. For all the amazing content, I've never slept better than when I put one of your hour-long custom so, map vids on as I drift off to sleep much so longer. So many people fall asleep to my videos. I really don't know whether to take that as a compliment or an insult. Thank you, though. <laughs> you can fall asleep to the stream now. It's like a backhanded compliment. I love your videos so much, they help me fall asleep. I can eat a horse. That doesn't surprise me. I, uh, I don't know where I'm going right now. I'm just basically heading in the direction, hoping it doesn't take too long before it tells me you're in so-and-so area. I've had a good look around this map, though, haven't I? Where are those damn mushrooms? Looks like I made it through another night. Now you have another day ahead of you. That looks like it goes somewhere. And that also looks like it links back to the railway tracks, which could take me to the dam. Why have I not found mushrooms, man? Let's hope the mushrooms aren't important for anything, because they're bloody hard to find. Where's the navigation, the journal? Things. Ah! Tell me more about things. My knowledge about things is useless. I know nothing, Jon Snow. There's like two references for you there. I'm on fire today. This is closer to the dam, isn't it? Because I think I hidden this thing on the way to the dam. Because there was a wolf coming after me. Ah, oh, metal. Probably left something in this. Yep. Let's follow this forward. Go to the dam. 
Although, I don't think... I, I'm just looking for the mushrooms, really. I don't have to go to the dam. There's no, like, dire need to get there. I just want mushrooms. Do I have two monitors? Oh, yeah. I've got two monitors. I would highly suggest it if you do streaming. For a long, for the longest time, I had one monitor. Life is so much easier and better with two monitors. I used to watch TV in the background when I played World of Warcraft, and the TV was actually like that way. So I would have to play World of Warcraft like this and go like that. I'm not even joking. Well, there's the dam. But where are the mushrooms? The spin. The spin is sick. This guy's got a knack for frying stones now. Am I getting extra points? Oh, there should be some cattails down there, actually. I just like doing that. Starting to get withdrawal symptoms from mushrooms. Thank you, Bwippy. Got one of those voices. Oh my goodness. I should make that my new subscriber uh, sound. All of the voice samples that this guy uses in regards to food. I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse right now. Alright, there's some mushrooms. We did it, Jinxie. Thank you, Jinxie. Yeah, I don't know what I can do about that, because I pretty much, what you see is what you get with me. I don't really filter myself exactly. So, when I do shout, because I am actually really pissed off at the time, and that's a natural reaction, not like a suppressed reaction, I can't seem, I don't really have a good filter for it. I know people would say something like a popping filter or whatever, but that doesn't do anything. I've already tried you need, like, an actual proper program to sort of, like, detect loud noises. I think you can set something up like that in OBS, but I haven't worked out how to do it well enough that it doesn't sound like it's just dampening all, all audio. I thought I would find some cattails here. I was wrong. I'm going to catch that with my face. Ah, too late. OBS audio limiter. Alright, fluffy Discord. I'll see if I can remember that by the time I finish the stream. Where's the cattails, boys? I'm gonna take out this deer with a stone. Just you watch. I think I can get a bit closer. Oh no, I can't. He already started running. Here we go. This is it, boys. <laughs> and the deer have disappeared. I've teleported the deer out of this area by saving it, but I have, from doing that, located some cattails. So I've traded some deer for some cattails. That's the game logic. It says, okay, I'm going to remove the deer from this area, but I will give you some cattails. Good trade, I'd say. A good trade. <gasps> 
watch it. It doesn't update very quickly. I was on 14 and now I'm on 8. <laughs> I need to be stuck at 8. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So we found some mushrooms. If we find a few more, we can just head back to the cabin. Alright, take some rest, Arctic woofs. And I'll look out for woofs for the both of us in this journey. River, northern axis. I'm assuming I'm about here. So we're probably heading back. And I'm bound to come across some more mushrooms. It would really suck if I can't find any mushrooms. No, it's just in that one location by the dam for some reason. There's the tree beard. I'm actually tempted to go back to the dam, just because I know that the mushrooms were there. And that's the only place I've seen them. And really look over that area. So I know I've got everything I need before heading back. other bits for the cattail needed for. It's tinder, is it? Perhaps if I go back into the dam and go through like the drawers that belong to like the people that used to work there, I might come across some mushrooms. There's a woof. But I think we can take him. Come here, boy. I got a bullet with your name on it. <coughs> Bitch. I'm going to enjoy this. And I'm probably going to die from this. But it'll be Find worth some it. Place to escape this cold. I don't think that was a headshot, that one. That didn't feel so clean to me. I'm quite grateful that it went off there. I thought he might change his direction like the last split second. And really mess me up. Did I actually go in any of these cabins when I came here the first time? Can't remember. This gear's starting to slow me down. I think all that eating you've been doing is starting to slow you down, mate. Yeah, I think I've been in here. This looks somewhat familiar. Trailer. I need to find food. It's Chris Pratt's trailer. Yeah. I found Johnny Depp's trailer now. Hopefully it's nice and cozy. Ideally there'd be a stove in there or something. Yeah, I've been in here before. I have no time for this. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't find much use there. Good day, good day. Good day, good day. And how you doing? Good day, good day. I'm doing great. Good day, good day. How you doing? And how you doing? I'm doing great. Ah. Thank you, Fred. Oh, 
Oh well, my character's done pretty good. It looks all white, actually. I think the thing that drains your health the most is being cold. So if your cold temperature is like at rock bottom, you will see that health bar drop quick. And I used to drop health a lot quicker in like my first playthroughs of this game because I don't think I actually did decent like cloven repair or put too much time or effort into working that stuff out. So I think the first most important thing, even though it keeps stemming you need to eat all the time, is actually look after your clothing and keep yourself warm. That's like the number one thing that will kill you. Does this place have a stove? I don't think it does, but I can probably start a fire and cook some woof meat whilst I'm warming up. That sounds like a plan, don't we think? There's some toilets. Shall we be super hygienic? Ha, ah, you can't start it indoors. Hmm. You sure about that? You're telling me I've got to go outside. I wouldn't. If I was fucking in this situation, I would bloody start a fire indoors. I don't give a shit. I mean, if you just put it on, like, the, the tiles or something like that, it's not going to spread. Fine. I was going to put the fire by the uh, toilet. Ninety five percent chance. Oh look at that, it just goes for it quicker. It's not messing around. Why'd you have to wait twenty eight minutes? This has been so for oh okay. It's time to save it because I'm probably gonna accidentally eat one of these. I think you can only cook on two parts. It's a bit irritating. I think my stomach is eating itself. Yeah. It's probably a good thing. <laughs> I start two fires. Just so I can cook <laughs> quicker. The new cooking system. It's definitely made it a bit more difficult. Flawless would be proud if he was still watching. Oh, hello, Dee Dee. What's up? Good eye. Oh, see, Flawless is here. He is proud. Look at this. This is pretty inefficient. Did it. But there you go. How, what does it feel like? What's the temperature right now? It's 26. Shit, that burns. What is the temperature now? It's still 26. We're eating. Oh, Dee Dee, you, you come back in time to see me we eat, eat some wolf meat. God, so much. What have you done? Oh, you burnt yourself. That's fine. Ah, <sighs> more painkillers or tea or coffee? I guess that was tea. Bandage and tea. Do I have tea left there? I do. And I do have a bandage. So let's try. It's still so bandage. Whatever that is, it must be um, some type of um, soup or something, like Raishi's mushrooms or something. Raishi tea. How many Raishi thingies do I have? I have enough. So if I wait until this is cooked, look at that. My health can only go up to this point. Feeling good. The pain. So how do I use... I need like um, a recycling can. Hang on a second. Oh my god. Oh! The... Campfire burnt out, and the wolf meat. I'm going to have to load that. I mean, to be fair, if I load it, I won't have the burn thing anyway, but...
So that's got one hour, so it needs an hour's worth. Yeah, so. There you go, that'll keep you busy. Have I still got the burn? Oh yeah, <laughs> he got the burns. That name again is Mr. Pyle. Mr. Burns. Hello, my name is Mr. Burns. Hello, Mr. Burns. What seems to be your question? I don't know. For some reason you have to wait like a second before you can left click again. If you try to click too quickly it messes it up. Like I have to deliberately wait here and then click. May as well heat that up. May as well cook that. May as well smell some snow. could actually die from this. But I don't know how to make the mushroom soup. Begin crafting. I think that's using up most of my mushrooms. Prepared rice cheese mushrooms. Hang on, let's see. So now can I use those in a soup? Is that what you have to do? Ultimate concentration is required for this. Save. the wrong type of treatment. I need to cook something else and not mushrooms. Let's try that again. Maybe it's the rose hip ones. Maybe it is the rose hip ones, mate. Flawless is trying to make me die here. Ah, oh, it's almost out. I need firewood. Fire! Quick. 
fucking... It's gonna take too long, bitch. I've got no fucking fuel. I'll just load my save, but this goes much worse. Fire! Oh gosh! I found the ultimate source. Go, man, go! Looks like I knew this was gonna happen. Witty from several days ago knew this was going to happen. And I deliberately left that stuff for this very specific moment. That was very clever. I'm impressed. No, don't. Yes. Let there be lights. It's not a bad idea to just. 24 minutes. Not a bad idea to actually. See, this is good. It's teaching me. I'm learning. So if I do some more preparation, you just like like the, the tea and the coffee, you just have like some prepared soup or whatever. So that way you can always drink it. Because I don't think it matters whether it's hot or cold. Wow. Twenty-four of those was needed to make one of these though. Although you get eight at a time, so you need three rose hip bushes. Drink it good. Aye, we did it. We live another day. Should cook that other wolf meat, actually, if I can. Although I need to keep the fire going for longer. So we need to just go and look for some more. How long have we got? 27 minutes? How long does this take? One hour, 38. Oh, jeez, man. Need some pallets that don't take quite so long. Also, that hatchet got wrecked, didn't it? Yeah, I've, I'm missing some of the items for the quest, but I can find that stuff. At least I know where I found everything. Pretty sure that fire's gonna be out by the time I get there. 30 minutes is too long. Yeah, screw it. Just break this shit down. We'll start another fire in a short moment. After I've had some sleep. Go back out and finish my wolf steaks. Can you get good enough at breaking down stuff that it doesn't take like an hour and a half and it does only take like um, five minutes? I'll just leave that down. stuff. Have a little sleep, I know it's right? cold, but if we just take a bit of time, the hour and 30, to break this down. There we go. Feeling good. Let's go in for some kip. I can get all my health back and we're doing great. This has been a wonderful journey into the life of whatever my character's name is. Okay, there you go. He's feeling great. Uh, nope. I could eat anything right now. 
eat some sleep. Choke on it. Fat bugger. Starting to weigh me. Let's shut him up. All right. Let's cook the rest of our wolf meat. I don't know how I'm supposed to start this fire. Here it goes. 55% chance, boys. Come on. Come on. I think that's going to fail. It feels like it's taking too long. actually worked. That'll do. So I'm going to go back indoors and just wait for like an hour or something. No point waiting outside in the cold. So many calories burnt from doing nothing. How about some wolf meat? Fresh off the plate. Mm. That'll satisfy that hunger. Alright, okay. Let's try to... Settle this now, shall we? Because we've got to a All good this spot. Gear is slowing me down. Let's have a look at what we have. So we need the rose hips. We... Old man's beard. Unfortunately, I need two more mushrooms. I don't know if they regrow. I've got too much stuff on my character. It's weighing him down. But I don't think I can really drop anything. So I think I'm kind of screwed. Of course, we drop all of that. I don't want my sprint ability, but I don't think I'm going to have it. I think we're done with this. I mean, this is good, but that can be emergency for another time. Here we go, that's better. I should probably be able to sprint now. Just can't full sprint, but that's good enough. So rose hips, Raishi's mushrooms. Raishi's tasty, tasty mushrooms. That hurts. I can't. I'm gonna save scum that one. I'm gonna save scum that. I'm not having that. I'm not having like four bloody afflictions from one tiny fall. Like some stuff that happens in the game. If it screws me over, I'll still carry, keep it on. Like when I fell in the water and that still almost killed me when I was walking away from the bear. I could have easily loaded that, but I kept that because that was more realistic. That was a mistake. But if I just fucking fell like this far and then broke like six parts of my body, I'm not having that. Some bits I'll let you have, but some bits no. I thought that was a campfire. I didn't start that. Alright. We're going to have to look around again for those resources. Feels bad, man.
I should be eight now. Nine at this point, but I may as well take some extras for the road. Rose hips typically aren't that hard to find, for whatever reason. They seem to be quite plentiful. Okay, so that's that. Cattails. Let's refresh my memory. Did I use all of them up? When did I use up all the cattails? No, I didn't. Cattails, done. Mushrooms, done. Old man's beard, done. So it really is just rose hips. So I can pretty much just head back to the cabin, but I suppose what I might do is head back to the cabin this way. So at least I'm exploring some new territory. I don't have any stones anymore. It's always nice just holding on to those so you can chuck them at things. So I learned how to use the Raishi. So I know how to cook Raishi and Rose Hip. I don't know what you do when you prepare the old man's beer. That's just a bandage, basically. It's a makeshift bandage. It's like World of Warcraft again. Back in classic. You'd use like Free linen cloth, two linen cloth to make a a weak bandage, or you'd use silk cloth to make a good better one. There's a wolf, but he's busy with rabbit, or is he busy with me? I can't tell. I'm gonna try a little trick here. It's save scummy, but I did save it. So if I load it, does the wolf teleport to somewhere else? Like with the deer. Worst case scenario, he teleports on me. Hey! Ah! Ah! Stop it! Ah! It hurts! He didn't actually teleport very far, did he? I want to find out, though. Confirmed. So the wolf is behind the tree. So let's see if he's always behind that tree. So it teleports deers, but does it teleport wolves? Now. So what's the deal with that? Why does it teleport deer, but not wolf? Look, mate. I've got better things to do than be chased by you. I wanted to kind of see what was in that lookout place, but now I can't because you're being an arsehole. Yeah, he's just camping behind a tree. So he's scumming it as well. Isn't it funny if he was walking away backwards from one wolf, but walking into another? Yeah, I think he's chasing me. The part where his four legs are moving and he's heading in my direction means he's chasing. There we go. There's another wolf. But he's busy with a rabbit, so... I would like to come across this, but good luck. That wolf might get distracted, distracted by the rabbits. I bet he does as well. So 
So I'm already at the ice cabin bit, which means I've missed the lake supplies. But again, I, I don't know. I'm not going to walk around all day looking for them. I'm not very good at finding like the hidden cash points and stuff like that in this game. So we just go forward. Could actually do some fishing. So I've definitely got a lot of meat. But I've already got wolf meat on me as it is. to do some fishing if I'm here. And then we can head back to the cabin or Jeremiah. It's been quite the session, isn't it? Yeah! Never been so hungry in my life. You can actually see the daytime moving, but... I really should start to move back now, though. But the greed part of me wants to go another couple of hours just to see. Oh my god, that is greedy. That's way too dark. Okay, boys. So that's the cabins. I think we want to go this way. I'm not sprinting very fast, so I must be too heavy or something. Yep. I think if you got over 37 kilograms, it suddenly slows you down. I haven't used flares in ages, so I'm just going to drop them and I'll use one and pick one up. Oh, there's a dog. I could drop a decoy, to be fair. Yeah. Weak. Even the crows are following me now. Are you going to go past me, crows? Yeah, good crows. I'm pretty sure you walk slower backwards. I'm not 100% sure. No, I think you walk about the same pace, whether you go forwards or backwards. It's only sprinting that counts. You can't sprint backwards. If you were being chased by a wolf, would it be better just to ignore it? Obviously not in real life, but I mean like, kind of in real life. Like, is it worse to stare it in the eyes? Oh, okay. I think it knows I'm getting close to the house. I'm trying to go at a decent pace so it doesn't full on chase. If you walk, most of the time it just sort of walks behind you. I need to get from decent sprinting pace in the house and I'm pretty much there. Go. Can't catch me, wolf. Alright. Let's move. Let's do a little bit of fixer rocking. I'm going to make more hooks. Because they're quite useful for fishing. Fishing is pretty good. Does it make three hooks at a time? That's better then. So I need some lines. I got lines. I got gut. I need cured guts. Ah, oh, well, I can't do it then. I'm going to leave a couple of guts here then. In case. But I'm pretty sure we're going to be pretty much done with our mission now. I feel like I've done a lot in this episode. A lot. So I'm pretty sure that once I go back to Jeremiah, he's going to give me the, like, the last mission to go to the... Uh, Thingamajig. 
the thing that you know. That's a jig. Okay. Beautiful. Gorgeous weather to be out and about in. Just got enough energy. Still heavy as hell. Oh, good. There's another dog. Look, mate. I don't want any trouble. Like, honestly, I've got quite enough wolf pelts and stuff. I've actually got a lot of meat, so really... I mean, most of the time I wouldn't mind shooting you, but... This is actually one time where I'd rather not have to shoot you. If I have to drop a decoy, I think I will. Because, you know... I'm good. Be cool. Time to run quick. Run. He's not chasing anymore. He's giving up. Yeah, it's giving up. No, wait. Oh. Soon I'm gonna faint. Well, I'm getting you to the location, mate, where you can rest, so... Chin up. <sighs> this dead fall area. Ah. <laughs> what? Okay, I dropped decoy! I dropped the decoy! Afflictions. I'm getting good at taking wolf hits. Fine. I'll take this for myself. You could have had it. You could have had it. But you chose to fucking go for some clothing instead. You could have had that fish. Now you don't. Now you starve, you stupid wolf. I need to find some rose hips actually on the way back, don't I? But if I can't, then I'll just go out for another look. Hello, night ghost. Have you seen any rose hips, night ghost? I need some of those. It's funny, because I see them all over the place. But when you kind of want them, I don't see anything that resembles them. There might be a bush ahead, like, over that way. Nah, that's a branch. Right. I recognise what the bush looks like. Just gotta look out for that. I've learned a lot in this episode, though. It's certainly toughened up my character. He's, he's had a lot of close calls with death. I mean, look how low my health is again. That's how my health bar's been for like, almost all of this episode. It's just balancing it and making sure it doesn't quite drop to zero. Okay, we need to go kind of this direction, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I'm going to sprain an ankle as well. You'd think I would, wouldn't you? I'm completely knackered. I'm weighing way too much because I think weighing no time for having too much weight increases your chances. I don't know actually. Just I a love guess. Ah, oh, thank you, Panzer. Thanks for the love. Appreciate it. Take care. All the best, sweetie. My energy is just. The real question is, Panzer, are you hungry? Whilst you might feel love in your heart. Are you as hungry as this guy? Is it possible to be hungrier than this guy? I'm gonna spray an ankle. I'm gonna spray an ankle. I 
That's the corpse. Feels good, man. Almost home. I'm getting better at this now. At least I can still see, though. I'm quite surprised. It's pretty thick into night time. I reckon, though, just like, literally like another minute. If I waited like another minute of like real time, it would be pretty much pitch black. So the timing is pretty good here. Oh, I can't sleep there, can I? Because it's still going to be glitched. So I may as well go for a kip here. I was going to go into the cabin, but I can't sleep. He, Jeremiah won't. He doesn't like me enough to let me sleep in his uh, house. Every time I want to sleep, I have to sleep out here. Drink some tea and have some food. Let's see if we can go the night without dying. It'll be kind of close, but I want to see. I've tried it before. No, the health bar's going up by the looks of it. Okay. There you go, he's happy. A brand new day. Again. I really need rose hips though. And then I'm done. But I think this has been a long enough session that we can pick that up again. And then go get the rose hips, then bring them back to Jeremiah and then probably do like the last pit part of this mission. Because I can't imagine he's got much else for you. Although he did say about the bear, didn't he? So I guess I still haven't... No, I guess I still got to kill the bear, haven't I? But I won't be able to find rose hips if I'm looking for them. So, if you know what I mean, like, if I really want to find them, I'm going to have to be pretending not to look for them. So hungry. Cattail stalks, you only need four of them. Okay. Say hello to Jeremiah. I need some water. Look at all this gut. Okay. I'm just going to create some lines. My health's not moving down. Not really, so I'm not going to put food in these belly. So I've gone from like only having one fishing tackle, which I was really worried about. I was like, oh man, I need more fishing tackles. But then I'm going to end up having too many of them. Because they can break, can't they? So you'd probably want like three. So this is like, I've got three now after this. I don't think you want too many of them. Even though they barely weigh anything, it's just like still everything weighs. So you really want minimum of everything if you can help it. Yeah, that'll do. And I'll just drop everything else that I don't need. So there's the scrap metal stuff. Let's drop the cloth. Oh, well, we can just use that quickly. Just doing a little bit of uh, fine maintenance before I pick this up again another time. Cleaning everything up. So there's a cured gut. We can drop that. Don't need that. Don't need the wolf power. We've got old man's luncheon. We need two more, one more of those to actually create a, a fake bandage. But I've already got decent bandages anyway, so I don't need it. So we'll drop that. We can prepare those thingies. Whatever we actually need those. 
I don't think they go off or anything. So where's my prepared version of those? There you go. It weighs 10 kilograms, 0.10 kilograms. I think as long as you just have like one set of it, two would be like super protective. Two to three. Where's my tinder stuff? So there's the firewood. I'm going to actually take some accelerant because I actually haven't come across much of that lately. Which is funny because I couldn't stop finding it beforehand. So we've got three of those. We don't need that. Drop that. Drop all. Drop all. We can actually sharpen this up. Firstly work, but it needs it. Especially actually, how many row meat will I eat today? Row meat? What's row meat? I've eaten a lot of meat though, and I've got better at it. The game is teaching me. Like I've got quite a lot of meat on this character. My sharpening skill is at 54, so I can see it. 55. This is just maintenance part now, which is nice, because I actually haven't got to do any of that in a while. I've just been too busy trying not to die. But whilst you're in an area where you don't have to worry about that, you can actually go back to being maintenance. I could actually pick up the other hatchet, if that was still in the other place, but I'll just sharpen. The thing is, is I probably fed this character too much, and by doing so, that's made him you know, hungry more often because he's expecting food all the time. So I'm trying to starve him out a bit. A bit like a meth head or something like that. Just go cold turkey. Take away the supply. Good thing is, is that's like I say, this increases the skill, so it should take less time each time. And I should be more efficient. Probably get higher percentages each time. Like that does like two percent at a time, which isn't that good. Ninety percent now. Ninety-five percent. Quite the jump. Maybe it's easier to maintain it if it's at a higher percentage. Damn. I don't think you can actually repair a pry bar. So that's a bit of a pickle. I've got, got a little rifle line cleaning kit. Yeah, we might as well just go all out. We've got fish, we got meat. I don't think I need the stick. Bandages. We need more painkillers, definitely. I've gone through a lot of those lately. I made the mistake of crouching again. I don't think my character can really drop much. That's the problem. You just can't carry much weight. You have to be really picky. Maybe what I'll do Wait. at some point is hunt rabbits. And I'll probably be less protected. But I'll be a lot faster. And I'll be wearing, hopefully, warm enough clothing. Because I could probably look into that and see if there's particular types of clothing. Like rabbit gear. How much overall weight it is. And how much it w heals you by. Not heals you by, but... You know, keeps you warm. Because I really can't actually drop anything. I even, like, the, cu the can opener, I dropped that because I wasn't really using that enough to warrant it. 
With furs, you get even heavier and lowers your max stamina. Dang. I was figuring if you made your kit out of rabbit gear or something, you'd be okay. Right, I'm going to leave it here and pick this up. At some point. Maybe I'll cook up my... Get enough water to keep me going. And I'll see if I can cook those fishies. Let's see if I can actually reach. Yeah. I can do it from here. Although I can't click on them. Because <laughs> I'm crouched. Ah. I might as well just go back in and... Hang on. Just gonna do this part, so we know we're Too done. Much stuff to carry, and everything's like cooked and done. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Nope. Nope, you can't. Okay, so we're good. We weigh uh, just a little bit too much. Can't seem to do much about it other than dropping a lot of my food. I don't know how well it keeps. I suppose I don't need all of it. See, we've got some spare food here, if need be. So, the wolves don't get so hungry after me, I think, if I've got wolf meat. So, there we go. We'll keep this. We'll save the game, and we are good. That's a lot done.